The text auto completion feature in Phrase Express is actually very easy to use because you don't have to take care about anything. You just type. So if you enter your text, like you can see here, you would need to have it to end with a punctuation mark as you would do in real life as well. And if you repeat the sentence for a few times without, uh, of course, you have to do it in exactly the same manner. Thanks. And here you can already see that Phrase Express starts offering to autocomplete the phrase. So you can now either accept this autocompletion by pressing the tab key, which can be configured, or you can continue to type and ignore the uh, suggestion and type the other ending. And if you do this a few times, Phrase Express adds this new sentence to the list of phrases and you can select by using the arrow up and down key. And you can also press the num key, which is uh, on your numpad on the right of your desktop PC keyboard. If you press, then it will be pre-selected. And when you release a key, it will be inserted. This is very versatile because if you press it and then you decide, oh no, I don't I want another one. You can press the other key. Now I press num1 and it switches to num1, and if I release num2, and now release num1, the first one will be inserted. Okay. And then it may be that Phrase Express may accidentally pick up a phrase you don't want to have uh, suggested. So you have several options. You can right-click any item, and then you can say, okay, I don't want uh, to have this suggestion anymore. Or you can exclude text suggestions generally from this current application or you can completely turn off text predictions if you don't want it. Now I'll show you how to exclude text suggestion from this particular application. If you click on it, Phrase Express has disabled text predictions for WordPad, which means if you enter this sentence again, you will never bother that again. But if you switch to another application where you might want to have it, thanks, Phrase Express continues to offer the text predictions. Now I open the Phrase Express settings, edit phrases, then I switch to Tools, Settings, and then I switch to Text Prediction. And here you have some options. You can decide whether you only want to have full sentences predicted or suggested, or you can say, okay, I only want words and no sentences, or only have full sentences. And you can also define whether a word should be suggested within a contents which Phrase Express knows or whether words should be suggested for autocompletion in any case. And this is a very important parameter, actually the most important. Uh, this determines the minimum length of a text which uh, shall be suggested. The idea behind it is actually it doesn't make much sense to suggest very short sentences for autocompletion because you probably type them faster than you would need to pick it up from a pop-up. So we determined that uh, a sentence with a minimum length of 15 characters would be uh, okay to get a suggestion for. So you can adapt it to your preference. And, and here in the expert options, you can see the application restrictions. Here you can see how we uh, blocked Phrase Express from WordPad. And if you click on more, you can exclude it from WordPad or you can say, okay, I, I want Phrase Express only in WordPad or you can also add additional programs. So you would uh, first need to launch the actual program, for instance, Google Chrome, the browser, and then it will show up here. And then you can say, okay, I don't want it in uh, Google Chrome as well. And you can even define a specific window title. So in case of a browser, it will match the uh, website title. If you don't want to use the dynamic text prediction feature, but uh, rather prefer to have static phrases you have defined, you can also do this in Phrase Express. So right click on the Phrase Express icon and select Edit Phrases. Then I create a new folder. I call it Thanks. And you can create new phrases directly in this folder by highlighting them in the target application and then pulling them into Phrase Express. And I do this with the other sentence as well. Here we go. This goes really fast. There are several options now. What you could do is you could highlight the containing folder and define an auto text, TY for example, thank you, and then switch the auto text option to execute after manual confirmation. Okay, and I apply the settings to all contained phrases. And now I show you what happens. If you enter the auto text, the selection menu will show up here and you can select with the arrow keys or you can press the num keys like here. 
And if you release it, the phrase will be inserted. And you can also configure Phrase Express to offer the phrases as you type. That's what you initially wanted. So to do that, you have to apply the auto text, which must match the phrase contents. And to do that for each phrase in the folder, you can make use of the batch editing feature. So we will need to switch to expert mode, then highlight the folder that contains all the phrases and right click it and select bug editing functions, then select edit auto text and then select generate auto text. And then you can generate auto text for all items in that folder based on the phrase contents. You can use the default settings, just make sure to set to replace any existing auto text with a generated text. And now what we've done with the batch editing feature is created auto texts which matches the phrase contents for all phrases uh, which are in this folder. Okay, now you would have to type the whole phrase to have the phrase triggered, which is uh, nonsense, of course. So what you uh, want to have is a special auto text uh, setting which you need to apply to all phrases and you can easily do this by highlighting the parent folder and then set the postfix of the parent folder to incremental and then make sure to apply it to all elements which are in this folder and that's what you want now so if I click on OK and I start typing PhraseExpress will automatically start offering the phrases